While I'm here doing shameless promotions of typewriter companies that do not sponsor me, yet I buy their products and use and recommend, I am going to add Mr. Brian Haddix, Haddix to the list of products recently that I purchased that I uh, was amazed with just because the presentation and the value and what you actually get, uh, it, it was second to none. And so I thought I'd share that. So this is an Oliver 9. I've wanted one for a long time. And I've been holding out for like one that was in decent enough condition that if I restored it, uh, it wouldn't take like, because I knew nothing about the Olivers. And boy, are they confusing to somebody that has never touched an Oliver because there's all sorts of levers and pulling guys and, and, and things that are named different and unnamed. And I just, I'm a cut and dry. I need to explain like I'm a five-year-old. I need precise explanations on how things work or else I'm confused and lost, or I'll need like three different examples to, to fall back on. But anyway, guys, this is an Oliver nine. I picked up, I went cruising the local thrift shops and, and antique stores. And the lady had this set up for like 300 and fifty dollars or something like that and I looked it over and it was barely moving and the carriage was seized and it's in beautiful condition like all the decals are are good um but I talked her down to a hundred dollars for it and you know she said she had to call her business partner and the business partner agreed that a hundred dollars would be fine but I did fix some of their typewriters they had sitting around um they brought some of that were in the back and I I you know checked them over some noiselesses and Things like that so you know i gave them a free service on some machines and they gave me a deal on an oliver 9 that i that i thought i could i could fix and repair it has the pencil holder has ribbon covers those were my pretty much my only two and good chrome chrome decals ribbon covers and the pencil holder were my main criteria for the, the typewriter because i do have a parts oliver that's decent enough to, to scavenge from it's not going to work but it has parts that i can use so anyway, I pulled the carriage off of this and I, I restored the carriage. That's where I am so far on this, this project. I did a carriage restore. It was all rusted up everywhere. These and that. Needs a new platen. Nothing was functioning. Now it does. But in the process of all that, the, the, the mainspring snapped. So I have to swap out the mainspring and I needed a draw band. I was gonna do the old fishing line trick with the loop on the end, but Oliver's have a quick release carriage system that slides off and, and their draw bands have these special hooks on them. So when you go to pull the carriage off, it, it leaves this hook behind. It, it has like a, you know, like a aircraft carrier landing hook. It, it locks there. And so when you pull the, the carriage all the way off, the draw band sits inside the machine like so. And then when you put it back on it, it does the opposite. It catches the top hook and it, and it puts on. That way you never really have to touch the draw band to pull the carriage on and off because the margin settings and the tab settings are all uh, carriage off activities. So I was looking on eBay because I knew I saw these before, these draw band replacements from Mr. Haddix, owner of the uh, Oliver Typewriter Repair Company or the Vintage Type. There it is. Yeah, so this was like something like $12 and he had it here in a couple days. So that's what this video is about. It's partly showing off this Oliver that this isn't my like weekend warrior. I, I've been trying to do things every Sunday to it on my, my off days of not doing machines that I want to get out to the public. And I kind of do my personal stuff when I have time. So I do have a few personal machines that, I, that I'd like to get to. This is one of them. I still need to do all this. The main machine. I've done the carriage. The carriage is good. It's not attached, but yeah, this one's gonna be good when it's all done. So, if you need a Oliver draw band with the special guy that that it comes on, give this guy a call, Brian. Yep. All right, guys. That's it. Talk to you later.